Hey guys, so I hope everybody had a happy and safe 4th of July. I'm back with some finds that I had from that weekend and the one before. Um, this video is going to kind of go all over the house, but I'll start with what I have with me right now. Uh, first at a yard sale, I picked up this candle holder. Um, a candle, actually. And it was $2.50. I can't tell where it was from. I won't burn it as a candle because I don't like having the open flames, but I like it because it's a reindeer. Um, next, I went to Target and I picked up a couple of clearance items there. The first thing I picked up was this uh, metallic nautical knot ball. Um, and this was marked down to $2.98. There was two of them left, so I picked up both of them and I gave one to my mom. And then the other thing I picked up at Target was a new doormat. And it's just uh, bright colors and it says welcome. And this was actually on clearance even though it wasn't marked. That's one of the tricks I use at Target sometime. If one item is marked down, like a doormat of this brand is marked down to $6.50, sometimes all the other ones will be that price too even if they're not tagged it. And sometimes the clearance stuff even rings up cheaper than it is. So this mat was still $12.99. There was actually like three or four of them on the shelf in like the regular location. But I figured as a chance I would scan it and see. Because if this one was also on sale, $6.50, I really liked it. Um, and so it came up on sale. So I got that doormat for $6.50. At a consignment store, I picked up this jug. And it's just a one gallon jug. Um, the reason I am filming this video today and not on Monday was because I tried tinting this jug and I'm still waiting for it to dry. You can see where it's still streaky. I picked up the Mod Podge Sheer Tints and basically what it is, it's almost like an Elmer's glue type uh, texture. You're supposed to just pour it in and then you twist it and it starts out dark like you can see the bottom still is and then it's supposed to dry clear. So I tested a whole bunch of uh, dollar store ones I had to try and figure out the best way to work it. It needed to be diluted because when it was just full strength it was never going to dry. Um, so this was diluted. I used two bottles of the tint and a tablespoon of water and I ended up being able to refill one of the bottles af after I was done. Um, and then you tip it upside down and you let it drain like into a cup or something. It has been draining and trying to dry since Sunday and you can see that where I'm still at. So if I was waiting to film this video for this bottle to dry, I mean, who knows, it could take like weeks to dry at the rate it's going. But anyways, I picked this up for two dollars just because I thought it was cute and I liked how it had that on it and it's got kind of the vintage look. So hopefully it actually will dry and it'll dry clear and then maybe you'll see it in one of my videos later on. Also I found a used bookstore near my gym. Uh, my husband and I were just like driving down side streets and happened to drive past it. All the hard covers are $1.50 and all the soft covers are $0.75. Cents. So I picked up a few books. I got a Merck Veterinary Manual because I collect... Uh, you know, dog themed things, and I have a section of like dog, vintage dog books, I'll put that with it. I picked up the ABC about collecting, and most of these I bought like for the titles and the spine, I will look through them. Next one is Chats on Old Pewter, and Hobby Collections A to Z, and let's say... That's what the spine of that one looks like. That one's actually really pretty. And then I picked up a soft cover, which was actually in my Amazon wish list, and it's Junk Beautiful. And basically, it's just uh, all kinds of like flea market and salvage type finds, and then they turn them into other objects in the house. It's a really cool book. Um, and those, like I said, were $1.50 a piece for hardcovers, $75 for the other ones. Um, and that's all I have in this section. Let me take you to. I will show you my uh, find of the weekend, so stay tuned. Okay, so you can see behind me right here is a headboard. 
and I have been searching for a headboard for probably, I don't know, going on three or four months now, and I just happened to find this on Craigslist. Somebody put up a queen-size bed frame for free, and it was like within an hour driving distance, so I went and picked that up. Um, I'll probably only use the headboard and the footboard. I will probably just put back up for free or pass on to somebody else that needs it. But I thought it was a great deal, obviously, because it's free and I love the shape of it. So that is probably my best find for a while. And now let me just take you upstairs and I'll show you the last pieces of the, the haul. Okay, and now I'm just going to finish up this video up here. Um, I've got a few more things to show you. I picked up a picture frame from Salvation Army for $2.99. And it's an Ikea Rasta. I can't find it on the website, so I don't think they sell it anymore. But what I liked is that it's got a grid on it, so you can actually cut a mat to go with it. And I picked that up to go with these nautical charts that I found. And these are, they're amazing. I've been looking online for these, and they're really expensive, so I tried printing some off from a kitchen. And then I just happened upon these. They were in a big bag for five dollars the entire bag. So I've got this whole book of them. I've got these and they fold out. I've got a couple of huge ones of the Long Island Sound. It looks like whoever owned these before me sailed a lot around Connecticut and Rhode Island up to like the St. Lawrence Seaway because that's what all these maps cover. Um, here's some more of the Long Island Sound. And I'm going to frame one of these in that large frame. There's actually one of these here that has New Haven, Connecticut on it. And uh, that's where we go to go to the Goodwill. So it's kind of like a fun place that we like to go. So I'm going to frame that because it has sentimental meaning to me. Um, that. And then there's one more book here. Uh, Block Island, Rhode Island. And it's just a whole other book of uh, maps. So I got that whole set of nautical maps for five dollars which I thought was really cool and that is it for my finds for the July 4th weekend and a little bit before that so I hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching